So in this video we're going to be looking at adjusting the Honda S2000 HID headlight. My headlight alignment is absolutely atrocious. Uh, full beam looks amazing when I'm driving down the road. Perfect clarity, can see where I'm going but when I'm just um, at main beam or dipped I suppose, uh, yeah it's awful. So not sure if you're aware but the S2000's uh, HID headlights are controlled by a sensor on the rear suspension that detects the cargo load and then adjusts the height of the lights so you don't dazzle other cars. Well obviously my car's lowered, it's not a factory height. Um, but also on top of that you've got the fact that the sensor's what, 14 years old? So it's probably on its way out. So like I said my night vision or my lights have been awful. I looked online and really struggled to find anything that said how to adjust it and a lot of the videos I saw online were referring to adjusters that didn't really seem to be on the car which obviously made it even uh, more difficult so what I'll try and do is show the adjuster but firstly the tool that you're going to need and this might seem a bit over the top is a Phillips screwdriver like that long because you've got to get in this hole to the adjuster and um, yeah, in that hole there to the adjuster which is not easy and um, I haven't got any other screwdrivers that will do it so I managed to get this one for I think it was six quid from Amazon and that's the ideal tool for it and if I um, put the headlights on and I'll demonstrate the adjustment and you'll see the headlight uh, the headlights moving up and down it's quite a slow process as you can also see to do the passenger one you've really got to remove the coolant bottle which isn't a big effort issue you see that bracket there that just goes in there to refit it and to get it out just give it a snug pull up and it comes out and that gives you more access to this area here so the adjuster itself is actually um, next to that plug uh, just trying to shine a light in there so you can see it there's a, a whitish plastic bit and uh, that's the adjuster but it is actually I think an 8mm socket but you don't turn that bit what you do is you put a screwdriver through the top um, this small hole on the bodywork and that goes down to the adjuster so if I clamp that there and we'll have a look See, hard for me to hold the camera but basically similar to that you can just go down the side and um, that's it in there yeah that's it and you turn that and that adjusts the headlight yes you should be able to see it's difficult but that turns the adjuster ever so slightly backwards and forwards and this is why you need a big screwdriver so if you turn that for quite a while it adjusts the headlight and I'll just demonstrate now um, with the headlights on and everything else in darkness and you'll get an idea you should see the headlights there you can just see see that black mark there that's originally where the beam pattern was before I adjusted it so I've moved it up a little bit probably an inch really the best way to set it up is to do it um, against a wall about 25 foot away but I just wanted to test the adjusters and demonstrate how to do it and uh, you'll see I'll wind this back backwards and forwards as you can see that is going back down now ever so slowly you can see that screw on the left hopefully you can see it just there and just watch that beam there as it gradually goes down and then I'll wind it the other way see 
go back up. The humming, by the way, is the uh, ballast on the light headlight. So that's how you uh, adjust them. Like I said, to do it properly, really, you should mark up a wall so that you can uh, get the alignment spot on so you don't dazzle other drivers. Just to give you an idea of how my screwdriver is sitting, that's the screwdriver in there through the hole. And then if we, if we look down there, you can see the screwdriver going into the uh, adjuster. It's sort of concealed by the wiring, but you get a general gist of it. So you can adjust both headlights like that. Um, probably best to do one at a time to cover one up when you do the other one, just so that you can actually see the beam and then maybe mark out on the wall where the two uh, converge to give you a better idea of when you're getting to the right area. This is definitely going to improve my nighttime driving and make it a little bit less hazardous when driving around. I hope you found this video useful and uh, like I said, I struggled to find any information about it, even the manufacturer's manual wasn't great. And I suppose over the years the models differ. But yeah, I hope this information's useful and uh, just goes to show the HIDs can be adjusted other than you, the uh, sensors on the rear suspension. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Make sure you like and subscribe for more.